Okay, welcome back to the wonky workshop. <coughs> this had a bit of a breakdown today at work in the cable that joins the adjusting pin in the center there to angle the head has snapped off. It's probably been tugged once too often, maybe like an over-enthusiastic teenager. But um, we'll take this apart, see where it is, and see if we can sort it out. Okay, so I'm guessing uh, slacking these off to get that plate out. Okay, so I'm not sure if you can see this. It looks there that that wire runs into the base of that pin. It's obviously spring loaded to retract it back in. I'll drop that out. And there she is. Okay, I've got another one of these um, where the motor died, so I'll get that one out of there. And just, I'm guessing, just pop it back in. Okay, so that's the one off the other machine. Looks exactly the same. The same model, so I'm guessing it's the same. Hopefully, it's just a case of pushing that back up. that spring a bit put that stop back in there I'm not sure if you can even see any of this Okay, that's the old one. Ball retains it in the pull down uh, part of the handle, and obviously, that's where it's uh, sheared off. So, the next trick is getting that into the okay. So, that all seems to be lined back up. Pretty simple. Hole on the top of the shaft there must correspond to that, just so it all aligns. I've taken the battery out as well. Health and safety is key here in everything I do. If you believe that, you'll believe most things. Tighten these back up. It seems to be some Mexican beans running down the roof of the workshop. I don't even know what that is. Maybe a little bit loose on that. Where's that? Okay, there we go. All ready for back in action tomorrow. 
he says. No, that's it, he's good. Pull down release, spring pulls it back in. Okay, while it's here, I'll just show you uh, inside and greasing it up. So there's just three retaining screws there to hold this back plate on to be able to get inside and fill it full of grease. I'm just going to get some of that old crappy grease out there and on the back of the plate. There's a fair amount in there, but I do keep it regularly greased, but I don't like to leave all the old stuff in. You can see there's bits of hedge debris does get in there. So yeah, I'll get all that uh, wiped out, put some new in. Okay, I've got a pot of grease, I'm just going to uh, nick a bit at the end of these for now with a trusty old chisel. But every two weeks I'll do this for the back of these, uh, the heads, the petrol hedge trimmers. Pump of grease in there every maybe few hours. Sorted.